The clock is ticking. That's what Mesa family spokesman Mark Colby says. As we reported on KUAM News, Colby and the Mesas say they want to get paid for the use of their land or they'll block off the road to the Menengun Memorial site on July 7th. The family says while the Menengun Monument may be sitting on Gum Guam land, every piece of land around it belongs to their family. So the pressure is on as this year marks the 75th Liberation Festivities. Adeloupe Special Assistant Stephanie Flores overseeing the memorial ceremonies for the 75th festivities. And she says she's tasked land management and the Department of Public Works to resolve the property dispute. But it's not going to happen overnight. We have to do the surveys and make sure all the all the lines are correct. And then they do a, a, an appraisal for the right of way and see how much that's going to be. And then we make an offer to the, to the uh, family. Flores telling KUAM News the family will be compensated but it won't be by July 7th. The whole process itself is not going to be able to be done before July 7th. It, it, it is, you know, you've got a lot of due diligence to do, but I, I'm very confident that the, an agreement can be made with the family to, the, to use the access for the memorial. But Mesa family members tell KUAM they aren't budging and say it's been weeks since they've heard from Gov Guam. Today, Colby tells KUAM News his family still feels the same. No money, no meetings, no Menengun Memorial. We plan to barricade and uh, cross barricade the whole property. The government owes us back rent compensation as well as the fact that we've been paying all the property taxes. Flores meanwhile says it's kind of all of a sudden that the Mesa family wants compensation. You know the family has participated for several years with the memorial and um, so it was a little surprising that, that this would happen but I mean because we do honor their grandfather who was uh, beheaded with uh, with Father Duenas. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.